So one of the most advanced things we can do with Google Sheets is we can create a API that essentially converts our Google Sheets as into a database and we can use it as an API uh, on the web. That means we can expose the data inside in a programmatic way, meaning we can uh, access it through a URL that we'll create with a web app and we can do it in a way where we protect the data inside of our sheet from anyone else. We don't have to share the sheet with anyone else. We don't even have to change the sheet from a share uh, restricted to a share with anyone. We don't need to do that in order to use this. So this is really cool, really great example of how to get around that import range issue um, where you might be using import range to move data into another sheet or you're trying to move data onto a website and you're like, hey, how do I embed this uh, Google Sheet as like a nice looking thing? And in fact, we can just grab the data outside from inside of a sheet and put it outside of a sheet using the do, get, and do post app script I'm going to show you in this video. So in this video, we're going to convert our Google Sheets into a REST API, and we're going to do a few things. We're going to create a way for us to add uh, workouts, and then we're going to see how much we've worked out. So we can call this workouts, and then we're going to add a summary page, so summary. So if we have some workouts, we're like, hey, we did, um, we might want to track just the number of push-ups. So we'll do 15 push-ups. And we can add these programmatically. And I will show you, and then we'll have a summary here where we'll say push-ups, and we'll get a total equals sum, and we'll just get workouts, A colon A, and we'll sum them all up, and then we'll be able to get that at any time. So let's go up to extensions, app script, and start writing from scratch. Uh, you don't need to know much, and this is pretty simple to do, because um, I'm going to show you right away. And if you're a Better Sheets member and you're watching this right now on Better Sheets, you can get the uh, Google Sheet down below. This exact thing, the finished product, you can save all the time and get it down below if you want. So our function, we're going to write do get, and then we're actually going to create another function called do post. And we need some event in here. These are different events, but we're going to call them e, e for event anyways. We're going to do the same thing in both of them. All right, now we need to get the, uh, some parameters. Uh, and in the do get, we're creating a get post, um, sorry, a get API call that's going to add to our workouts. So we need to go to E, uh, let's say variable uh, pushups equals Actually, let's call it count equals e dot parameter dot count. And we are going to say count here, but we we'll, we can say any text we want. We're gonna you're gonna see how that is used in the URL later on. And so we want to enter it into um, the workouts. So we're gonna need to get variable workouts equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get sheet by name and we're going to get workouts here it's all caps and we need to enter it into the first row we actually want to just in case we don't want to have to add rows here we're going to insert a row every time we go there so we'll do workouts dot insert row before and we'll put a one here that means it's before the first uh, before the first row. If we have a header there, we can say before the second row if we want. So we're going to insert a row, and then we're going to take workouts dot get range. We're going to say column one, uh, column one row, or sorry, row one, column one, and only one row and one column, so only one cell. And we're going to say set value is going to be our count. And what it is it, maybe we add another parameter here, like a type of workout. So we say type equals e dot parameter dot type. We might add that to our URL. I'll show you that as well in our URL. Uh, and we're going to say, we're going to get exactly the same thing here. But instead of the count, we're going to type in the type. And instead of the first column, the second part is the uh, number two columns. We need to change that to two column. And now we want to get some response. So we will say uh, the do get is just going to actually, sorry, this is do post and this is do get. Uh, we're going to reverse those. 
So the do post needs to get a response that says, yep, we, it totally worked. So we're going to say return uh, content service dot create text output. And we're going to say uh, just 200. That's the code that says, we're good. And that uh, APIs need to return 200 code and say, hey, we are good. So how do we test this out? What we can do is first we're going to deploy. We're going to deploy this as a web app. We are going to change it to ex execute it as my me, and we're going to change it to anyone can execute this if we're at any uh, website, any page, any URL can access this. We have to authorize it. Uh, we just have to authorize it once, once we have all the stuff we need. It's going to deploy now, and it's going to give us back a URL. We need that URL. Uh, we copy that URL, click done. Let's go to Postman and check out how this works. Because we've set it up, but we can change this count. We can change this type. Uh, but let's just double check that it works correctly. So we need to go to Workspace. We need, we're just going to test a uh, API. We're going to click new here, and we're just testing HTTP. So we're using a post. Enter our URL here. Do not need to change the URL in this case. Our key is going to be count, our value, let's say 10. And we also want a type, and we'll say push-ups. Okay, this is just going to be adding. Hopefully, everything will be added there. We hit send. Let's see what our response is. We get some doesn't match the signature insert rows before. We have some kind of error. Maybe change all these variables to const. Let's do that first. Workouts is fine. What is the error? Actually, the error set is right here. Doesn't match the method signature for sheet app dot sheet. Insert rows, file quote, code. Maybe it's going to give it to us in our execution. Let's see if there's an error here. Oh, I think this needs to be different. Insert row before. I think that's the issue. It was rows and should be insert row before. We only need one. So in order to change this uh, code, we need to deploy again. So that's the one issue is every time you change the code, you must get deploy again, and you must get a new URL. So it's just going to deploy a new URL, copy that. Let's paste it into here. Uh, we don't, we're not, actually we shouldn't have done that. We can do count. We'll do 10. We'll do type, push-ups again, send, and we should get a 200 code from this. If everything, yep, perfect. And here, oh, we have a blank there because we hit that enter button before. So you can see at the very top we have our data. So now this is really cool, right? We are entering data into our sheet because without having to share our sheet, without having to do anything else except for code this bit of code here, a few lines, nine lines of code essentially. But now how do we get the summary? How do we get this B1? Well, let's go to uh, the function do get. We're going to return. Let's start at the end. We're going to return content service. So similar to the top. And we're going to create text output. And we want to give the count. Um, actually, let's call it summary. And what's a summary? Well, we'll call it a variable summary equals. We can do spreadsheet app. We can copy this, actually, to make it faster. Instead of workouts, it's summary. And we're not getting the whole sheet. We just need get range. In this case, we only need one range. So we're saying B1. We can actually just type in quotes B1 here. Make it super easy and super easy to read. And then get value. That's the most important part. We're getting the value of that summary uh, cell, that cell in B1. And then all we're doing is returning it. So if anyone wants to check uh, via API how, much, how many push-ups are we doing, we should be able to return this summary really quick. All right, let's deploy again. New deployment. Deploy. We're going to get a new URL here. We want to paste it into here. Uh, we can do a get request, hit send, and we should get not 200, but 25. 
So now we have a number 25 and we have it from right here. Perfect, right? So how can we use this? I want to show you now, we've set up the code, we've coded up, we ha are getting stuff from this sheet, we are adding stuff to the sheet, we are creating this REST API. Now, how do we use it? Well, one case is if you have a new sheet, let's do a brand new sheet. Actually, I'm going to use a sheet on a completely different um, account. I'm going to use it on just a normal Gmail account, and we're going to do summary. If we have this URL, and we just want uh, the number. Import data is going to be the key here. The URL is exactly this URL. We don't have to do anything else except for allow access. We are allowing access, allow access, and here's our 25. So this is really cool. We are in a different account. We have this information on a sheet somewhere, and we're grabbing it from here. Right? We can add to this. So again, if we have an API, and we'll, I'll show you how to set this up as well. Let's do post. Let's do count equals fifth. Let's do 50 push ups today. Type push ups. We are going to send. Go back here, and there's 50 push ups, and we now have 75. And our data ha import data has updated immediately. Isn't that really cool? Okay, so how can we create a form online? Well, we can go to card, is an easy way to create a really easy form. Uh, we're going to create a new site. I'm going to show you from scratch how to do this. Blank canvas. There's nothing here yet, so all we're going to add is a form. Where is it? Form. We want to, the type is custom. We want to send to URL. Again, we need to grab this uh, URL. Our URL, don't need to edit anything here. Just need to change the method to post. And then in our field up here, we're going to create a label that says um, uh, push-ups. And we want a text. Num Actually, we want, mm, we can change this to a number if we want. Sure. Uh, if we want. Our ID is going to be count. Mm, we can add a fixed value of type equals push-ups. Done. And now we are going to deploy this. We're going to say workout counter. Let's publish this to a uh, subdomain, workout counter. Let's see if it's available. It is available. We'll push it there. Publish it. This is, as, this is very fast. Just a couple minutes of doing this. This is now available online, workout counter. We're going to put in 44, submit. Let's see if something happens. Ooh, what are we going to get? 200 and on our sheet. We have our workouts 44. We are now entering data into our Google Sheet from a form we've created online that is now completely open and available to the web. That's really cool. Uh, we can now get our total count, right? We can even return in some places. We can say, hey, how many push-ups have we done? This is really cool. So we have turned our Google Sheets that is completely restricted. This is our normal Google Sheet into a REST API. We are creating new entries in here. We are getting a total out of here, and we are doing it with very limited code. We are using the function do post and do get here that are built into Google Sheets app script. We're creating an API that's available in the cloud all the time. We're creating a card uh, form to get that data in. This is really cool, and I'm really excited that you were able to watch this and walk along. I have some other examples here. Um, if you want to see other examples, I'll put them up on bettersheets.co and in this course, uh, in the course Master Spreadsheet Automation, we'll also have some more examples of this uh, kind of thing, which can turn a Google Sheet into an API. Really, really cool. Bye. <laughs>